BC Ferries is floating an ambitious new plan to convert one-third of its fleet into fully electric ships. The Ferry Corporation wants funding from the federal government to upgrade its island-class vessels from hybrid diesel electric into full battery power. The money would also be used to install rapid charging stations at terminals on eight of its routes. And the island-class ships are the newest in the fleet currently operating between Powell River and Texada Island, as well as Port McNeil, Alert Bay and Sontula. Rob Shaw is here in studio with more on this story. So, Rob, what would a project of this size actually look like for BC Ferries? Yes, Stacey, it's actually a very big project, more than a billion dollars in seven years. So it's split up into a couple phases. Let me show you the, the two stages here, starting with the first, retrofitting three ferries that we already have on the way or here from Romania, and then modifying three more uh, new ferries that are currently in production to that fully electric standard, along with nine terminals to put the rapid charging you plug the ships into when you get there. That's $150 million on top of the $200 million we already spent on the ships, so keep that in mind. The second stage is you build seven new ships, and where do you try and build them? In Canada. That's the pitch to get some federal support. Upgrade nine more terminals. Now you're at more than a billion dollars, and you're looking at a seven-year timeline. So quite a big project, Stacey. Well, we know that BC Ferries is not making a lot of money right now, Rob, so this all must be contingent on extra government money. So like, like what's Ferries' plans here? Yeah, it costs more money to build ferries here locally. So this is the political dynamic of how ferries extracts money from the federal government. Have a look uh, at this plan here. This is, there is federal COVID money on the table, and ferries is going to try and access that. It's also looking at a federal election coming up, and it's billing this as electrifying one of the biggest marine projects in Canada. So hoping a politician bites on that. There's environmental and job benefits, and the premier is pushing for a shipbuilding contract, which fits into this in the shipbuilding sector as well. So... Stacey, an ambitious and expensive plan, but look at the politics, and it might be the right pitch at the right time for BC Ferries. Stacey. All right. Uh, that's a big spend. Time will tell. We'll keep an eye on it. Thanks, Rob.